If you're somebody who has wanted to start a lash business for a while, but you really don't know where to start, really don't know how it works, you really don't know if the revenue is worth it, then keep watching this video. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's the one I only at Mercedes. I am back with another video. If you're subscribing, hey, if not, go ahead, click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up because if you're not keeping them at Mercedes, they will keep them with their period, okay? So, by the time this video, guys, I already know, I am going to tell you guys step by step in detail how to start your lash business today, okay? Okay, so when it comes down to a lash business, you know, everybody knows the first rule of thumb is you want to make sure that you have a solid name that is not taken by the state, okay? The way you can look that up is by going to a website. I'm going to insert the website in my description box below, and you will literally just check to see if your state has the name that you are interested in taken, okay? So you want to make sure that you have your name and that you have a logo and like your theme color, okay? For me, my theme colors are pink, white, and gold, and um, that's has just always been the colors that I've had for my business, but you can have any colors that you want, but when it comes down to a logo, the simpler, the better, okay? I know people want to put their face on it, and I know they want to have all these cool black leathers and, you know, these cartoon character designs, but honestly, it's just not giving professional, and to be honest, it kind of like turn the audience off, okay? You want to make sure that you have a logo that is appealing to your audience and it makes them want to shop with you, okay? I'm telling you, when it comes down to these small businesses, the people will find anything not to shop and support you, okay? Oh, she got a cartoon character. I mean, people will do that, okay? So you want to make it as simple as possible when it comes down to your logo, okay? So once you have your logo and once you have your name, then you want to move on. And I honestly feel like getting your samples and have your lash vendor figured out first is most important, okay? But actually going back to the logos, because I do want to make this video as specific as possible, people don't know where to get logos. So let me help you out, okay? So it's an app called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Everybody should know what it is. Some people don't know what it is, though. You can get this app downloaded on your Android or your iPhone, and you can have it actually on the website on your laptop or computer, okay? So when you shop, I mean, when you go on Canva, you can get a free trial for two weeks, and then it has the pro account, which will be $14.99 a month, or I think $15 a month, okay? They give you a two-week trial to see if you like it, and then that's for the pro, okay? You can do, I think you can do a free membership. You can do a free membership, but it will be only limited to certain things, okay? And because I am a content creator and I'm somebody that makes content all day, I need more variety. So that's why I have a pro account, okay? But if you are, you know, within a certain budget and you need to just have the free trial, take advantage of the free trial, okay? And you can create your own logo, okay? Or if you want somebody to create your logo, I'm gonna insert the person that created my logo right here. This is her name. Make sure you guys go add her on Instagram and let her know that I sent you. But but if you want to save some more money, you really can create your own logo by yourself by using Canva, okay? So then after that, now let's move into the samples, okay? So I always recommend that you start small and then you grow large, okay? You don't want to have too many lashes starting off because then if your business is very slow in the beginning, you're going to sell yourself short and you're going to make it seem like you're not doing well enough because you have ordered 100 lashes as a new business owner and you only got three orders in a month because that was me, okay? So you don't want to order too many pairs of lashes. You want to order, I would recommend about 10 to 15 pairs, okay? Because you want to be feeling good when you're able to sell out of those 10 and 15 pairs versus you have a bulk load of lashes and they're taking a very long time to sell okay so to make it just better for you start small and then grow see what lashes sell more than the other maybe one lash won't sell at all the beginning of business is always figuring out your business okay so i always suggest that you start small and then you grow and get more inventory okay so how do you find these vendors okay so you guys know that i used to do wholesale i am not doing wholesale until J january of 2025 
but I have my ultimate um it's not even called my ultimate vendor list. well i have an ultimate vendor list but it has a bunch of vendors for different type of things lashes um makeup lip gloss um iphone cases that is my ultimate vendor list but i am creating a lash success guide and vendor list specifically for my people that wants to start lash businesses and want to utilize my exact lash vendors okay that will be dropping july 1st because like i said i was a wholesaler but i stopped because my schedule is too hectic now and i can no longer be the third party vendor because that is what i am i am the middleman i'm the one that's communicating with the china vendors and then communicating to you to you about your order okay i can no longer do that because my school schedule is so hectic and I just moved into a new a new place. So I put wholesale on pause, but I didn't wanna leave my supporters hanging. So I am creating um, a lash guide July 1st. You guys can watch my other video about this, July 1st. So you guys can actually go ahead and just use my direct vendors, okay? So that will be available to you, okay? But if you don't wanna use my direct vendors and you want to use maybe other vendors, what the app the app that you need is called alibaba okay so orange app it is available on android and on iphone basically what you do is and i'm going to insert a video of how you are able to find these vendors so we're going to put it here so as you can see i type in alibaba and then you go ahead and you search lash vendor and then a bunch of lashes are going to pop up, okay? What's important is making sure that you're picking the vendor that has the word verified on it, okay? So if it's not a verified vendor, I do not recommend that you shop with them because nine times out of, out of ten, you may be risking the chance of getting scammed, okay? And we do not want that as new business owners, okay? So basically, you just go and you'll see. If you see more individual lashes and you don't see strips, then you can literally type in lash strip vendors and then that's when you'll see more of actual lashes but make sure that it has the name verified on there and if you want to make sure that you filter that out you just go to the filter option and you'll slide down and you can have so many options where's the vendor verified option at hold on one second right there so when you slide over you click verify supplier and then it will literally pull up all of the verified suppliers okay so we only want to shop verified suppliers so then once you find somebody you think you like you click their name and then you press chat now and then you'll say this is my old address so i don't have to be yeah that's my old address so it could be hey i'm interested in your lashes seeing and then they're gonna communicate back with you, okay? I also recommend that you download an app called WhatsApp because the WhatsApp app is going to be most convenient when it comes down to contacting these vendors, okay? So once you go ahead and you message them, ask them what's their WhatsApp number, okay? And then contact them on WhatsApp. Why? Because sometimes Alibaba censors out some of the words you say. Like, they're very strict sometimes when it comes down to certain words. And they will not send the message out to the vendor. So, you'll be thinking that you contacted the vendor when re in reality you didn't because Alibaba went ahead and they blocked the message, okay? So, that's why I honestly just recommend WhatsApp. And plus, it's just faster and easier for you to get the pictures and the videos and everything else because it's like, they're actually texting your phone instead of going through the app, okay? So you need the app, WhatsApp, which will be green. You need Alibaba. You need Canva, okay? So those are the three apps I talked about so far, okay? So I'm going to make sure I put those and the rest that I'm going to speak about. I'm going to put those all in my description box below, okay? So once you head, go ahead, I say I recommend that you contact three different vendors, order samples from all three different vendors, and then pick the vendor that you like the most, okay? Once you have those samples, then go ahead to pick which vendor, that, which lashes you like the most. Go ahead and go with that vendor and then order 10 pairs of lashes, okay? So then once you order your lashes, now it's time to start the website, okay? Have a website, please, and thank you, okay? Get a website, you guys, because I'm telling you, it's way more professional when you have a website, okay? Get it started. You can either get somebody to create it. All you have to do is go on TikTok and, and search 
um, website, website designer, or you can use the person that created my website. I'm going to put those two names right here. Okay, these are the people that created my website for all of my businesses, except for my digital product business I created it myself. But if you want to save an extra coin, you can go on YouTube University, okay? Go on YouTube and search how to create Shopify website, how to create Wix website, and so on and so forth, okay? Because I'm telling you, we're living in a day and age where people have been scammed so much. We're not doing the pickup drop-off, okay? We are only shopping if you have a verified website, okay? So take your business professionally. Take it very serious and make sure that you are making sure that you have a website for your business, okay? So once you have your website and you get that started, now you want to create your social media platforms. Me, I have all social media platforms. Instagram, um, YouTube. Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, okay? You don't have to have all five. I recommend all five. I'm sorry. Um, I really feel like when it comes down to being a small business, especially when you're starting off, you really just don't know how big you'll get, but you also don't know like how long it's going to take. So it's some people that immediately go viral and then their business is just booming and booming and booming from then and then they never need to have a YouTube but for me that wasn't that's not how it was like for me okay i needed to know which platform was going to give me the most support and the most orders so i had all of them so i recommend that you have all of them you don't have to like i said you don't have to have all of them but i definitely recommend if anything you have that instagram you're going to most likely have a facebook because the facebook and instagram goes hand in hand most of the times and then that TikTok, okay the TikTok to me is just the easiest one to grow on. Um, I'm really growing fast on Pinterest. So I don't know, Pinterest may be my new thing. But um, really just figure out what social media platform works for you. And then you wanna start like dropping many hints about your launch date, okay? So moving on to the next thing, creating your launch date, okay? I always say two weeks prior to your actual launch date, you are supposed to be promoting your lashes. That's why I said make sure that you get those lashes to your residents first because you want to be able to take your content pictures you want to be able to learn how to market you want to be able to know how to do all of these things so then when it comes down to your launch date you'll be good okay so with that being said you have to have a couple of things to make sure that you're getting the highest quality uh, pictures on your page you have to have a tripod you have to have a ring light and you have to have some type of cute little backdrop okay for me i went on amazon and i ordered me like a little small rug and then i also ordered me some pink silk sheets for a twin size bed and that's literally what i use to promote my lashes i also have like these cute mannequins i'm going to insert a video of what they look like i have these cute mannequins i got them in all shades um and I got those on Amazon. These are on my Amazon storefront. I'm going to put my Amazon storefront in my description box so you can get all of your business items that you need to start your lash business, including your bubble poly mailers, spoolies, these cute lash mannequins, um, my packet, my, my baggies that I use to take to the post office. All of those things are included in my Amazon storefront. Let me show you what my baggies look like. These are my baggies, okay? Usually fill up all of my orders in those baggies and I take it to the post office. The reason it has a bunch of stuff in there because like I said, I'm still in the process of unboxing from moving. So that's why it has a bunch of crap in there. But those baggies come in three and those are on my Amazon storefront, okay? So while I'm talking about my Amazon storefront, let's move on to like office supplies. So when you're having a lash business, you need to make sure that you have bu uh, bubble mailers or any type of poly mailers. I usually do eight by 10 and then I'll do, or maybe a six by 10 and then I'll do like 8.5 by 12, okay? Those are the two, those are the two bubble mailers I use. But lately I've also been using these boxes, okay? These boxes are in my Amazon storefront. These are, small and they are able to fit what i need to fit including my business card thank you card so on and so forth okay so all of that good to go okay so um more office supplies that you need is like a label printer so this is my label printer it's bluetooth thermal label printer got it from amazon i also have that in my amazon storefront and that is what you're going to use to like put the labels on all of your packages so you can be able to ship them out successfully um and then like your spoolies and all of those other good things are also really really good um items to have when you're starting your lash business okay Another thing uh, let's get into is the business cards and the thank you cards, okay? You can create your own business cards and your own thank you cards using Canva, okay? 
I created this using Canva, okay? I did this by myself using Canva and I have my QR code on there. So then when people go ahead and they tap the code, hold on, it directly pulls out my website. Boom, okay? Boom, okay? If you want a tutorial on how to do that, let me know. But I created these by myself. You can go on Canva and you can create your business cards uh, design. And then when it comes down to the shipping, I do think Canva does ship. I think that it's a little bit expensive. So I use Visa Print, okay? VisaPrint.com is where I ship out my business cards and my thank you cards. Let me show you my thank you cards. I created my thank you cards by myself. Super cute using Canva, okay? So that's how I create my business cards, my thank you cards. Um, when it comes down to custom packaging, okay? That will also, my, my custom packaging will also be on my Lash Success Guide and Vendor List. So if you want to have your custom packaging done and all of that good stuff, that will be on my list. But if you want to do your own research on custom packaging, once again, you go on Alibaba and you search Lash custom boxes and you'll contact the vendor to get your lash custom box okay so once you have your logo your name um you have your business cards thank you cards you have your label printer you have your way you're going to bring stuff to the post offices you have your poly mailers or your boxes however you prefer you have your spoolie so people can brush their lashes um, you have your tripod so you can get good angles and good content. You have your ring light because you need to have good lighting. You have your backdrop because you want to make sure that the your profile, whatever, whatever account you use, it looks aesthetically pleasing and people can see that it's nice and clear. Once you have all of those things, I also recommend that you go ahead and you have somewhere to store your lashes, okay? So I have these. Those are from Bath and Body Works, and I also have these cubbies. These cubbies are from Amazon, okay? I will put that in my Amazon storefront for you. But that is just a good way to separate and just keep your lashes, you know, like keep track of your lashes. But of course, since you're probably starting slow and then you're growing big, honestly, go to Dollar Tree and get you some clear buckies like this. Get two of these. Write the name of your lashes here and then just put them on the back burner because honestly, you're going to be starting off slow and then growing. So it really honestly does not matter to have these big cubies, okay? You want to invest once your businesses start growing, okay? I always, like I said, two weeks before you launch, you need to be posting your content. You need to be letting people know, hey, I'm launching on this day and you need to post every single day. You need to be posted every single day and that's where people mess up the most because they will post every single day and then they'll officially launch and then after their launch date they'll stop posting no you cannot do that okay it is so important that you post every single freaking day if you do not post every single freaking day you are losing potential people that could be interested in your products okay so it is so important that you really really understand that being an entrepreneur is not just something just to say that you are okay it's not something just because it's cute okay this is hard work and dedication and consistency that you are putting into your business and really into yourself because if your business fail it is really all on you because you're not putting the work in because a lot of people say they want to be successful business owners a lot of people say they want to do this that the third but they don't put the work in babe you gotta put the work in okay now when it comes down to filing your llc i filed my llc after i launched my business it was way after i did not i did not have an llc um as soon as i launched my business okay and i did not have a business uh business bank account as soon as I launched my business, okay? All of those things came later on when I knew that I wanted to be serious about my last business, okay? I didn't even have a business bank account until two years after I started my business. You know what I'm saying? So it really does not, it's not really, it does not really matter. But I will say when it comes down to the LLC, you do want to stay on top of that because at the end of the day, somebody can take your name. You know, it's people that's weird out here. They know that you're doing well. They know that's your business. But if you're not filing that LLC, you gotta change your name, okay? Because that's their name, you know what I'm saying? So make sure that you do file as soon as possible, especially if you know that it's something that you wanna do, okay? So once you have all of those things, I said I was gonna do this under 30 minutes and I did it under 20 almost. But once you have all those things, you guys, you are basically set to go when it comes down to starting your last business. I'm telling you, once you have everything I just stated, 
that is how you start your lash business. I think people make it more harder than what it is, but really that's that that is all it is, okay? Once you have that vendor that you are locked in with and you love the quality of your lashes from there, it's all about marketing, okay? And people struggle with marketing the most, okay? I have an ebook several different ebooks that that's content related and marketing related but two that i'm gonna really really make a recommend is how to market and create content i'll put that right here this is an ebook that i wrote myself okay this is my own wording that you can use to try to learn how to market your business effectively okay and then i have another one that's a course okay and this one i recommend more than anything because this teaches you everything you need to know when it comes down to marketing either physical or digital products and it teaches you all type of branding tips how to find your niece how to choose your strategies and it comes down with two not one but two videos about content marketing and editing okay two videos step by step teaching you how i edit my videos okay so those will be available in the description box below but other than that um another app that i'm also going to recommend which everybody should know right now is cap cut okay cap cut is going to be very very important because that is how you make the most type of fun videos okay i use all my video i edit all my videos using cap cut okay so cap cut is definitely something that you that you need and i teach you how to work cap cut in my course okay so I, that's why i definitely recommend my course if you're somebody who is starting out with your business that you really just don't know what to do okay i also have my how to start your last business ebook which is going to put right here this tells you step by step everything I just said and probably even more because right now I'm going off the base of my dome because I want to talk about the things I feel like is important without making this video super duper long. These are the basic, thing, basic things you need to start your last business, okay? So that will be available to you. I'll put that in my description box below. But other than that, I love you guys so much. Let me know if this video helps. If you are starting a business this year, comment me me in the comments so i can go ahead and hype you up and give you some words of encouragement and i hope i gained a new subscriber from this video and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video bye